it wasn't written for the 87 album. It was originally re recorded back on the Saints and Sinners album, um, 81, 82, I'm not sure. And Geffen asked me to redo it, uh, which I wasn't very keen on. But I said, okay, well, if you want me to do that, um, I want to redo Crying in the Rain, because I was never really happy with the original. And we'd worked on, John Neal and I had worked on an amazing uh, instrumental section in the middle, very symphonic, which, you know, uh, featured at that time, highlighted Cozy Powell. Um, and I, I thought, it's going to be great to, to have that too. But we actually had written enough material for for a full full album, you know, without Here I Go Again and without uh, Crying in the Rain, two songs, uh, Looking for Love, which I think is one of the best White Snake songs we've ever had, uh, and You're Gonna Break My Heart Again, which I think was on the European version, UK and European version of the album. But in those days, we were still timing albums to vinyl, which was maximum 20 minutes aside, right? So there's no way you could have everything on. Um, but here I go again. Originally, I'd had all the elements uh, pretty much, and and took my family, my beautiful young daughter, and my first wife, uh, Julia, uh, to um, Cabo Hierro uh, in on Portugal on the Algarve, and we had a villa there. And it was pretty nice and stuff. And really, both here I go again and crying in the rain are documenting. Uh, the breakdown, the breakup of my first marriage. So it's really interesting now. They've become these huge rock anthems all over the world, but you know, they, and they've taken on a life of their own. Everyone I know has a Hero Go Again story. Everyone I meet, oh my God, Hero Go Again meant so much to me. I was going through a divorce or, you know, or illness or something. It's, it's unbelievably humbling uh, to hear the effect, the profound effect that Hero Go Again has had on so many people. And salutes to Bernie Marston, too, who helped me with the, the write the song.